So you're brand new to voiceover, and you think you might want to become a voice actor. So where do you get started? Your first real step is with training, but in order to do that, you need to understand the types of training that are available out there, and that's what I'm going to guide you through today, so that you can make an informed decision and choose the kind of training that's right for you based on your interest level and your budget. I'll go through the different types of training and what they cost, and we'll even talk about the free sources of training. But let me be clear about one thing first. Since the pandemic, voiceover has become oversaturated in two ways. First of all, there are more voice actors out there than ever before. And second of all, there are more untrained and undertrained voice actors out there than ever before. From 2020 to 2022, massive numbers of people bought a USB mic and plugged it in and jumped on Voices and Voice123 and Fiverr and called themselves a voice actor. The problem is the overwhelming majority of those folks never bothered to get proper training. And as a result, the pay-to-plays and the freelancer sites are deeply oversaturated with, quite frankly, people who suck at the craft. Bad performers producing bad audio. Honestly, if you've cast anything recently in the last couple of years using the pay-to-plays, the freelancer sites, easily 50% of the audio is just garbage. It wasn't always like that, but welcome to the world we now live in. My point is that if you ever intend to be a pro voice actor, that means doing the work for a professional wage and running a profitable business doing the work. Even if it's part-time, you absolutely must get proper training. Why? Because to win work at pro rates and run a profitable business, you have to compete with folks, actors, that have been training for years or for decades. They have been honing their craft for a very long time. And if that sounds daunting, I get it. It can be. But here's the great thing about voice acting. A an inexperienced but well-trained voice actor, and J. Michael Collins has even said this too, can beat out an experienced, well-trained voice actor for any given job on any given day. And you'd be surprised how often it happens. Notice I said inexperienced but well-trained. That's entirely different from untrained or undertrained. Those folks don't stand a chance. So if you think you're just going to get a mic and a recording space and break into voiceover, it ain't going to happen. So training is your first step. Typically, folks that are starting out are going to train for two genres by default. That's commercial and narration. Now, honestly, I don't know why these two genres are, are the default. Maybe because commercial teaches you script analysis and character breakdown and acting. And corporate is a great way to hone skills, which will result in you finding work fairly early in your voiceover career. But if you feel strongly that those are not the genres for you starting out, then by all means, if you want to do animation or video games or audiobooks or whatever, train in the genres that you have a passion for. Any genre will challenge you. You might as well choose the ones that are fun for you. Now, broad strokes, I think of the different levels of voiceover training like this. Private one-on-one -on -one training, group training, and free training. I'm going to break each one of those down for you starting at the bottom with free training. I honestly believe you get what you pay for. That said, in the age of the internet, there are several good sources of free training available. And one of the easiest and also one of the most prolific is right here, YouTube. And if you've done any voiceover research on YouTube whatsoever, you've probably come across VO Masterclass with Peter Baker. And the good news is that training is massive and free. The bad news is that training is free. If you start here, it's not the worst place in the world. You will get some value out of it. You will learn a little bit about the business, about industry jargon, some basic technique. And it's not the worst place in the world to get your feet wet. Secondly, there are private performance-based coaches here on YouTube that provide strategies, tips for performance. But the problem is you have absolutely no way of knowing, especially when you're new, who's simply trying to suck you in for an upsell and who is honestly trying to provide information to make you a better voice actor. I suppose at this point I should probably mention that I am not a performance coach. So I don't have any agenda behind this video. It's just my personal beliefs as a professional voice actor who's been in the business for a little bit. Thirdly, there is some training available through the learning platforms like Udemy and the like. And fourth, there are peer workout groups. Some of these are paid, but many of them are free, and you can often find them on places like 
Facebook groups and Discord servers and such. Now, peer workout groups can be a useful tool in helping you to become a better actor, a better performer, because at least there you're getting objective third party feedback on your performance. The problem with peer groups is, especially when you're new, that feedback isn't always correct or actionable and it's not always on target. And finally, in the free category, some coaches, some performance coaches offer free workshops or webinars as a way for beginners to sample their coaching, see what it's like to work with that coach, and then hopefully, according to the coach, maybe consider if you'll consider coaching with them privately. Now, I'll say this about all free training. If you think you're going to take a, uh, a webinar with a coach or a, a weekend webinar or an online course about how to be a voice actor and that, that that's going to make you a competitive voice actor, you are sadly horribly mistaken. Now, the second major category is group training, and I break that into two subtypes. There are workshops and webinars and group classes. Webinars and seminars are a great way to sample a coach, figure out whether you vibe with them, get a, get a feel for who they are and how they teach. And for our purposes here, I'll also lump paid peer workouts into the group classes thing. And one of the great sources of paid peer workouts is the Livo Takeover Group. They run monthly paid peer workouts. They're paid, but they're affordable. And the best part is you don't have to live in New York or on Long Island or in the area to participate. They're on Zoom and you can participate from anywhere. I'll put that link in the description and show notes. Now, when it comes to webinars and seminars and workshops, just know that it's probable that a sales pitch is coming. And that doesn't make a coach necessarily sleazy. Just do your research and your due diligence before you commit to making a significant investment in private coaching with that coach. Okay, Paul, how do I do that research? I'm so glad you asked. I've done an entire video on just that topic right here. And some coaches actually offer group classes as a standard offering. For example, Universal Voice Talent offers weekend classes, Saturday group classes that you can sign up for specifically or as part of a larger package that they may offer. Now, the advantage of group classes is that they are, in fact, cheaper than private coaching. And because they're cheaper, you can often take group classes a little bit more often than you would with a private coach. Maybe you can take a group class once a week, twice a month, whereas with a private coach, you might only be able to afford once a month, once every two months. The other great thing about group classes is that if you fully engage and listen when others are reading and being coached, you can extract a ton of information and helpful, useful tips that you can use in your own performance. And finally, the last category we have, private training. To me, there is absolutely no substitute. Training one-on-one with a reputable coach, to me, is the best way of getting really good, great or elite as a voice actor. Private one-on-one coaching is where you get highly qualified objective third-party feedback that you can then apply through purposeful practice both within the coaching session and between the coaching sessions to accelerate your learning and development as a performer. Private training is so much more effective than group classes and, and free training because it's that highly qualified third-party objective feedback that you're paying for. That coach's ears know what books. They have an experience in the business. That's what you're paying for. That private coach's ears are significantly more finely tuned to what is booking, what the trends are, and why than even the most well-meaning peers in a workout group. Private training is more expensive. That investment varies somewhat wildly. And in my experience, reputable coaching in this business starts at about $100 or $125 an hour and can go up to $200 an hour or more for the best coaches in the business. Now, that's a lot to take in. So what do I recommend? If you're just starting out in the business, I don't see that there's any need for you to go to a high-end private coach. You're not ready for them yet. Start with group classes, free training, maybe a lower cost private coach. Why? Look, you might get six sessions in and decide voice acting's not for you. You might decide you don't have the talent. You don't have the 
it's the passion or the drive. And by the way, it takes all three. And that's fine. My point is, there's no need to sink a ton into training from the jump. Today, we took a deep dive into training. But training is just one of several steps to get into the VO business. To get my free ebook, Seven Steps to Starting and Developing a Career in VoiceOver, click that link in the description below and go to VOPro.pro for more information on the VO Pro community and to get my Move, Touch, Inspire newsletter that comes out for voice actors every Thursday. If you got value out of this video, help us reach other voice actors by giving us a like, a subscribe, hit that notification bell on YouTube, and if you're listening to us on the podcast, give us a follow, and please, if you're so inclined, leave us a kind review so that we can help to reach other voice actors as well. As always, I'm deeply grateful for your support. Thanks so much, and we'll see you back here again real soon.